What's going on YouTube? Welcome back to another video. So today we are welcoming the new vehicle to the channel and as you can tell from the title of this video you already know what that is. So let's get right into it and showing you guys my 2021 Toyota Tacoma. So the day I sold the S4, I was super upset uh, that the car was gone and I really wanted something else to fill the spot, uh, so I couldn't wait. I told you guys I wasn't going to buy a car that day uh, when I sold it, but I ended up getting this Tacoma. And I was kind of just looking, I went to a couple dealerships and I found one that I knew that that was the one that I wanted and I couldn't let it go, so uh, I just decided to buy it and drive home with it that night. Uh, I did take a couple hours at the dealership, kind of getting all the paperwork sorted out and discussing the final price, and I was super stoked with what I got it for, so I couldn't say no, and here we are with the new Tacoma. So to show you guys around the truck, we'll start here over at the front and kind of just go over some of the things that I'm super stoked with that I really like about the truck. So walking up to the truck. Uh, it's got a great front grille. I really like this new grille that they put in these Tacomas. This style of grille is like super cool. I really like it, but I would like to change that in the future to that Toyota Heritage grille that kind of says Toyota right across the front and it's all black. I think that that really accents well with this color and all the other black features on the truck. And to go over some more stuff, this is the TRD Off-Road Edition, so it does come with some different features than the other Tacomas do come with. So this one does come with these cool headlights that have a nice little L-shaped DRL LED in here. We have our halogen high beams on the left and here on the right. You have this kind of LED style ballast headlight going on, which makes the uh, headlights really nice and really clear at nighttime. And moving around to the side profile of the truck, it does look a little bit more lifted uh, than the other ones, and I'm sure that is due with the different suspension that it comes with. It comes with the Toyota Bilstein shocks that are yellow. You can kind of see those guys underneath here. They're a little bit, they're like blue and yellow. And the color I decided for my Tacoma is gonna be the cement color. It's very kind of, it's kind of got the same attitude as Nardo Gray, which is what I always wanted. So I'm super stoked with this color, and it's got a nice little kind of metallic flake to it. Uh, it's kind of hard to tell in this lower light, but it does have a little sparkle in it. The truck does come with some pretty good all-terrain tires. They don't look entirely too small on the truck as it is right now, but as some things start changing and maybe you get a lift kit or maybe you want some different wheels, uh, a lot of people upgrade these to a 32 or 33 inch tire. Coming around the backside, uh, kind of talking about the size of the truck, I did get it in the double cab and long bed configuration. Uh, this makes it a 6'2", six foot two inch bed uh, normally it is a five foot two inch bed and that rear axle kind of moves up to about right here and you can kind of see the wheel would be like right here and now it's now it's back a whole foot doing so i get a much larger bed uh, and this is going to be able to fit all the things that i want like snowboards and mountain bikes uh, very nicely over here on the back side it does come with these pretty cool like c-shaped taillights which i really like on these new generation tacomas and the tailgate is super sick. Nice, soft, open tailgate. A lot of trucks have those, but I think it's a really good feature that I'm super stoked that this has. Now, this doesn't really apply to me right away, but in the future, I would like to add a camper shell on this thing and kind of create this like bed system in the back that a lot of people do with their trucks for when they go camping. And this is already designed well enough for it. As you can see, we got slots here and over there. It goes all the way across with some two by sixes and then you can put a flat piece of wood over the top and kind of set up your sleeping mat right there while leaving you kind of a good amount of room underneath to put any of your luggage. All right, so let's go on the inside of the truck and show you guys around all the features and stuff. So hopping in, these doors are nice and heavy. They're not like super rattly and they close really nicely. So that's something that I really like about the truck already. And hopping in. You got plenty of leg room here. Uh, I am 5'9", so uh, this truck is a pretty good size for me. I'm not too tall. So as you can see, I mean, I got I got like a good, good three, four inches of headroom here. Um, so super nice if you may be a taller person around six foot or six, six one, six two. 
uh, you can kind of fit yourself pretty nicely in this truck. On the steering wheel, we have a good amount of controls. Over here on the left, we have your, your next and back for the songs. We have your volume over here, which something I noticed already is that's different than a lot of other manufacturers. And what I'm used to is volume should be up, volume should be down, and then it's like next song and back. These are flipped. So as you can see, it's kind of the opposite of what you think it would be, but that's just gonna take a little bit of time getting used to, shouldn't be a big deal. We have voice recognition here. We have the mute or like hold button. We have a end call or make a call. And over here we have your selection for all the display stuff up front. And then we also have down here below, we have this like sonar cruise control function, which kind of gives you different distances to uh, follow behind the car in front of you if you're in some traffic. And then we have this lane departure alert system, which kind of warns you if you're getting a little drowsy and hanging off to one side of the road and start going over the lines. So one thing I'm super stoked with is this display is a really good size. Like it's super easy to see when you're driving around. It's super clear during the day and night and it's a like nice size. I believe it is the, and it's like the seven or eight inch display. I'm not totally sure, but whatever it is, this is the perfect size that should be in this truck. You have plenty of features. You have AM, FM, and you have your Sirius radio. And then it's also got Apple CarPlay, which is actually new for the 2021. And I didn't know that until after I bought the truck. So really happy that I was able to get that feature. Moving over here, we have your two wheel drive, four wheel drive, four low controls, engine start, stop. Super nice to have that keyless entry and start. We have heated mirrors, dual climate control, which is nice because uh, the passenger typically may want a different temperature than you. You have your fan control here. They're a super nice feedback knob and uh, really satisfied with how these work. Over here on the bottom, we have all of our little add-ons. We have blind spot monitoring system. Uh, we have ECT power. We have parking sensors. We have our controls for our rear sliding window. We have our Apple CarPlay connection here. It is a wired connection, it's not wireless. And then we also have uh, wireless charging for your phone and that's gonna be right here. There's a little pad, it lights up when it recognizes there's a phone there and starts charging it. Another kind of small thing that I really like about this truck is these vents. They have a simple basic open and closed and they can be rotated 360. Whoops. Okay, this is kind of difficult with while I'm filming, but they rotate 360 and you're able to kind of point this, this air wherever you want it to go. When I was watching plenty of reviews on this truck, uh, they pointed out something that I thought was pretty funny, so I'm gonna bring it up in this video, and that's the fact that this truck has a ton of cup holders, like all over the place. So I'll start it out and we'll go around and we'll count how many cup holders we have. Starting over here on the driver's side, down below you have two cup holders. You have two more kind of larger sized ones here. You have a smaller one here. Two more over there. You have two right here behind the center console. And for the passengers in the back, you have two more here and two more on that side as well. So if my math is correct, that is 13 cup holders for four people. Little extra, but I like the options. I like the options. Over here on the left side, which is kind of hard to see when you're driving and to kind of know where these buttons are until you get really used to them, is going to be your traction control, which also enables auto LSD and uh, one other function. And then over here we have our bed light, which can be on or off. And then it also can go to the middle and that can be controlled with when you open your doors. We have our auto high beam system, which is actually really nice when you're driving at night. It'll turn those high beams on and off depending on if there's a car in front of you. And then we also have our power for uh, our different functions. Now another feature that is unique to the TRD Off-Road and the TRD Pro, uh, which is something that I wanted, is going to be this crawl control functions that they have. And it's kind of hard to see here, but we have our different terrain that we can select here. We have our, our dial for basically, essentially cruise control and how fast you want to crawl. I believe it's one to five miles an hour. And then we have our crawl function here. Up here, kind of a little bit higher, uh, we have our locking rear differential that we can activate. And then we have our little SOS button here with this fancy cover. So I've only had the car for a couple days now and uh, I'm kind of just starting to find all these little features and stuff that I didn't already know were there. So among all the things that I've already mentioned in this video, there may be some stuff that I'm missing. 
Um, if anyone finds any cool features or some stuff that I don't know right now, uh, please be sure to throw those in the comment section um, so I can learn some new stuff about the Tacoma. So like I said, when I uh, sold the Audi, I was getting another vehicle and it was gonna be a big change. So here we are in a four x four and uh, not a car, kind of kind of a whole different world, but I'd like to start going camping more. I'd like to start getting out the outdoors and I really wanted something that I could take my mountain bike and take my snowboards up to the mountain and go snowboarding a lot more. Um, so this is gonna be able to do all those things, no problem. As far as the future of this truck goes and some of the modifications we're gonna be doing, it's gonna be very little. I think at first we're just gonna kinda do some things to help uh, make this more of a road trip vehicle and something that's gonna be reliable for me. Uh, but we're gonna start off with getting these windows tinted because you can see everything through these things. The back does come with like a dyed glass, so it's a little bit darker in the rear. But overall we're gonna get a full tint on this truck and then the next thing afterwards is I'd really like to get a camper shell like I mentioned earlier. I really want to be able to store my luggage and stuff back there without using up the whole back seat and have the confidence that all my stuff is going to be safe. So for those of you who have Tacomas or uh, are interested in following more about this Tacoma, please be sure to hit the like and subscribe button down below to follow for some more content because I do want to start doing some pretty cool things to this truck and going on some really awesome adventures. So I was able to take the truck on a good couple hundred mile road trip last weekend and I went up, went for some hikes and stuff and I had a really good time. This truck drove extremely well on the freeway, cruised at um, at freeway speed with no problems and it's really quiet inside the cab. I'm super thrilled that I don't have a lot of road noise and I was able to get pretty good gas mileage for a truck. I was able to get 20 miles a gallon pretty much the whole trip. It uses a lower grade fuel than all my other cars so it kind of averages out to be a better MPG due to the fact that I'm paying less for gas. One of the things I did notice that was kind of not really a downside, but just something that I have to get used to and it's gonna take a little bit of adjustment, is the fact that it's a truck. It's not the best handling thing out there. And uh, we do go over a pretty windy highway getting out of the town that I live in. And this truck does not have a rear sway bar. So the back does kind of play around a little bit on those windy roads, kind of makes it a little bit unsure when you're going around some corners and stuff, but it's just gonna take some time getting used to and uh, kind of finding where where this truck likes to be balanced when you're going around the road. But I think that's gonna be pretty much it for the walk around of the truck. Um, let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. There's always those little modifications that kind of make the drive a lot better. So uh, let me know in the comments what you guys think I should do next. And I think that's gonna be it for the video. Thank you all for watching. I hope you guys enjoy the new truck and uh, welcoming it to the channel. But I will see you guys all in the next video. Peace out.